Hi there, I'm Olise Colady and I am the creative producer and the interviewer for the Superstar Self Love project that I'm in the process of making. The project is my um, brainchild and I am interviewing a hundred people from all over the world, from as many different um, uh, ethnic backgrounds or kind of background heritage, whatever you want to call it, from as many different age groups as possible, um, all different cultures and beliefs or different faiths and traditions and then sharing the interviews um, as podcasts on the website that I'm in the process of creating. So the interviews are about people's self-love journey and they are to give um, people an understanding of what self-love is, why it's important, how lack of it can impact and affect people's lives and also the different ways, so offering different tools and different ways for people to, um, to add more self-love into their lives. So I'm in the kitchen cooking my lunch. I've just finished a really wonderful and insightful interview with a woman called Dilara Tetik. And she um, is originally from Turkey. She now lives in the UK. And um, I met her via a friend of a friend. She's a relationship coach and she works with mostly women, I think, to help them improve their relationships. And she's so authentic and honest and vulnerable. And um, she, she calls herself kind of like a, I can't remember the exact words that she used, but she's just like this really passionate learner. And she really recognizes that we're never done. So no matter how much knowledge that we get on a subject, no matter how many things, how many books we read, and no matter how many things, like she's at that stage in her journey that's really juicy and really exciting. And she really wants to learn everything and wants to grow. And she's kind of like her next personal development project is to develop a relationship with God and to have more faith. And I just remember when I was at that stage in my relationship and I just had this hunger, I had this craving. It's, oh, it's kind of, I feel really emotional for her. Like just this this craving to know God and to, to really connect with God in a new way and to develop this relationship. And that really helped me on my own um, self-love journey when I really started to recognize that actually I am God. And in the interview, we touch on so many subjects and she's so passionate and, and, and she has these amazing groups that she runs. I think it's once a month maybe, or kind of periodically where um, there, she talks a lot about um, masculine and feminine energy and how men and women can better communicate. And she started off looking at it from a more um, psychological, social aspect. And now she's moving more into a energetic, tantra, um, more spiritual uh, dynamics of the masculine and feminine. And so I hopefully will be able to head down to London at some point and take part in one of her meetups and connect with the people. And, she, you know, she's very passionate about people that ask questions and the people that want to know and people that don't just settle for having a mediocre life and they want to just know like why is this happening and, and how can I make my life better and and who am I when I remove these these masks of who I've always been and she asks really awesome questions and the people that she gets at her events are really amazing and this is how she's you know she said that she didn't have a tribe she didn't have like she had to disconnect from a lot of people that she um that she knew because she couldn't she didn't feel like she could be authentic and she couldn't be real around them and you know this this spiritual journey this 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 journey can often be a lonely walk and so she decided actually do you know what I haven't got a tribe so I'm going to create my own tribe I'm going to surround myself with people that want to know that want to ask questions that want to live a bigger more impactful life and she's fully stepping into the arena and she's sharing things on her Facebook and she's just a really authentic beautiful inside and out woman and I really feel honored and blessed to have her to have done an um, interview with her 
and I feel inspired by her work. I really want, I've been wanting to do masculine and feminine workshops for a while and yet I am not stepping out and doing those kind of things. So I really rate her and um, I really respect the work that she's doing and I really look forward to sharing her podcast with you. She, um, yeah, she's got a lot to offer the world and I know that she's going to touch millions of people's lives. So I look forward to sharing her podcast with you and thank you so much for watching if you want to um, share your story then get in touch with me via facebook or luce Kaladi. um i'll leave all the links below and you can um share um get in touch with me let me know that you want to talk about your self-love journey this isn't for people that are doing it perfectly this is real stories by real people so um yeah get in touch i really want to hear from you thank you so much